Peace and blessings, brother. Bless your family. I just want to sit down and talk to you for a second. I just want to address this little thing they talk about passport bros. <laughs> it's funny. That picture we looking at right there. That is a clip from a movie made in 2013 called Paradise Love. Now, I want some of y'all to go out there. I want you to go check this movie out. This movie has been documented. It's articles on this movie. It's articles on the phenomenon. You say, what is that? Women traveling all over America, out of the United States to Africa, to Jamaica, to date black men. So can we address the passport ladies now? It seems like our community don't understand that this has been chronicled. This has been going on for a long time. I believe a lot of women know about this, but I think they're just trying to sensationalize this because now men are showing options. If you didn't know about it, I'm going to show you a little bit about it. And if you don't believe me, let me give you from the word from the word. Every year, over 80,000 middle-aged women flock to Jamaica to get their groove back in search of the big bamboo. They are not necessarily into long-term relationships, but many return regularly to their island boy who sport Rastafarian-style dreadlocks, bringing money and gifts like jewelry and designer sneakers, a practice called... In light of this newfound evidence, and this is evidence... The fact that they got documentaries upon documentaries and movies even about your grandma, your nana, buying men, seeking pleasure. See, one thing's for certain, two things for sure that no matter how old you are, you still want to seek pleasure. You still want love. You still want sex. Countries, these women may be stigmatized for having either illegitimate or casual relations with black men or younger men, or for having many sexual partners. There's some crazy people come down here in Jamaica. Like, for instance, from America, from all these places, yeah? A girl would come down here, four o'clock, for instance, in Manchika Bay. She reached in the grill, five o'clock, 5.30, six o'clock, roughly. Yeah, and then seven o'clock on the beach, she will be given a blow job. You know, a day after she will be fucking another man, and she probably come down here for two weeks. And for two weeks, one girl leave to visit Jamaica, and she will be fucking five men. So now you tell me. So before we go. Let's ask ourselves, would there be any shaming, would there be any name calling for these women, would there, are these women taking advantage of these men, would any of these women be cancelled, called out, ostracized, hmm, that's the question I want to put that out there, we all know the answer. Path was found nominal, it's not a new thing. It is not a new thing. It's just the answer for people who need to go seek pleasure elsewhere. No harm, no foul. This is no shade to the ladies that participate in the passport sisterhood. I just want to point out the hypocrisy. I am your host, Brother Love.